Today on Yester Kitchen, we are going back to the 1950s to start celebrating Halloween and the beloved popcorn ball. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. Welcome to Halloween. So today, I'm dressed as a Yester Kitchen fan. <laughs> Check out next week. I've got something better. In the meantime, if you want to be Yester Kitchen fan, the link's in the description below. Okay, today, Halloween, 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 Halloween. We have so many things to make and you're going to love it. So popcorn balls, huge handout in the 1950s. And actually popcorn itself was a big snack in the 1950s because it was accompanying this brand new invention called television. Oh, popcorn and TV went amazingly together. Anyway, I'm going to start this whole thing and then I'll tell you a little bit more about popcorn. So the first thing I have is a medium sized pan and yes, I have my candy thermometer on it and as you can see, it's not all the way at the bottom. You really don't want that because then it's just going to be picking up the, the um, heat and not the actual contents. So first thing we're going to do is I've got some butter. I've got a paper towel. You want your butter very, 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 very soft and we're just going to butter the sides. It adds flavor and it's also going to help prevent sticking. So you just want, really, you want to really, really butter your pot well. Let me move that. And don't get rid of your butter just yet because you're going to want some softened butter when you create your popcorn balls. Okay. So now we'll put this in and we'll get going. All right, now that your sides are all buttered, we're just going to make the candy. My favorite part. So in here goes two cups of sugar, and then we're gonna add a cup and a half of water, half a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of white vinegar, and you're gonna want a half a cup of light corn syrup. I always show you this trick because, you know, there's new people all the time and welcome new people. So, super easy trick to use corn syrup and get it out of here. Cooking spray. I'm just gonna spray it and pour a half a cup. And out it goes. Is that just the best trick ever? Okay, so now, see, look at that, nice and clean. All right, so now we're just gonna start cooking this. This needs to go all the way up to 250 degrees, which is why I have my candy thermometer. But if you don't have a candy thermometer, never fear, I will show you. It needs to go to, candy, cooking candy goes into different stages and that's when the sugar loses moisture and gets harder and harder. We're gonna go to the hardball stage, which is 250 degrees, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're gonna let this just get started and I'm gonna check back in with you when it's going. Popcorn got really popular here in America and around 1890 and people just took to it. I mean, come on, it was delicious, it was easy, it was fun to watch pop. It was an amazing snack. But that kind of stopped when the depression started in 1929 because it became expensive. So popcorn then became a luxury. But after the depression, popcorn was back. Everyone loved it. Now during World War II and food ration, most of the sugar went to support our troops. So there really wasn't any candy popcorn, but people loved popcorn. Now, after the war, sugar was back, popcorn balls came so into fashion. As a matter of fact, people made popcorn balls to hand out as Halloween treats. That was back in the days where homemade treats were safe to eat, which is kind of sad that it's not anymore. So in the meantime, while this is going, I have five quarts of popcorn in a big bowl in my oven set at 350. We want to keep it warm. So three, five quarts is about, it's a little more than three bags. So you can either make three bags and Try not to taste it or make four bags and you're probably gonna have a little bit left over. But either way, just keep it warm until our candy is ready. Okay, it is time. We are at 250. So, as I promised, if you don't have a candy thermometer, I have a little cup of water and I actually just took about three ice cubes out, so this water is ice cold. And how to tell if you are in the hardball stage, just take a little bit of your mixture and put it in the water. And then you want to give it a second to kind of let the water, um, not that you're not going to be able to see that, are you? Give it a second to let the water harden it. And then give me a second, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. 
you get this mixture that when you put it into a ball, it stays a ball. That's your hardball stage. Stop right here. Here is, this is hot, I just took it out of the oven, but here is my five quarts of popcorn. And you do want it hot. And now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take this spoon out, take the candy thermometer out. Before you do anything, add one teaspoon of vanilla. Almost forgot. Very, very important. And make sure it's all mixed in really well. And that is your beautiful flavoring. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Bring in our popcorn. I have a bigger spoon that I am gonna spray again with cooking spray, just to help it along. And now you're gonna pour your candy mixture all over your popcorn, just like that. Oh my God, seriously. This took maybe about 25 to 30 minutes. You stir it now. 25 to 30 minutes to kind of get your temperature up because, you know, water and sugar, it, it takes a while to come out. <laughs> even though sometimes it's hard to believe there's even water in sugar, there it is. Okay, so you just want to mix this. What I'm doing is I'm coming down the sides and up the middle very gently and rotating as I'm doing it. And I'll kind of get everything together. Now, hopefully you have your butter, your softened butter, ready to go. And just remember, this mixture is hot, so use your spoon. And then you're gonna give it just a very few seconds to cool down until, really until you can touch it, because we don't want to burn any hands. But as soon as you can touch it, get that out of the way. We're gonna bring in a cookie sheet with wax paper on it because popcorn and candy will not stick to wax paper. Now we're gonna take this butter, <laughs> this is the fun part, and get it all over your impeccably clean hands. Grab some. You really wanna squeeze it down, which is why you want your hands to be able to touch it. And there we go, popcorn ball. This is gonna make, ooh, this is kinda of really hot. This is gonna make, um, 15, 20 of them. So I'm gonna keep making these and I'll be right back when they're all done. Hey, we're back. So really important note, let the mixture cool down a little bit until you really can comfortably hold it. It's still it's warm and you can still form it in your hands. And always go from the top layer because the top layer is gonna be cooled by the air and just keep grabbing that and then you should be fine. I got a little red because I was a little excited and wanted to get these done for you. So don't do what I did. <laughs> this is hot candy, hot sugar. Okay, so take a look. These are our beautiful, beautiful popcorn balls. And as you can see, they just kind of, I just piled them into a bowl and they look really pretty for everyone to take. I also made a little cute thing. I wrapped it in wax paper, tied a little bow, and you can give these out to your party guests or your family, your kids would just love, just normal everyday here, have a popcorn ball gift. So happy Halloween. And if you'd like to explore more dishes from your childhood or just the past, I invite you to subscribe. I release new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. In the meantime, here's some more retro dishes for you. And remember, every dish, even old time popcorn balls, oh yeah, has a story. I'll see you in the next video.